Now we are looking at the vehicle tracking system. Before I go with the functions, let me introduce the modules and the components used for the project. The first one is the GSM module over here, SIM 900A, and the second one is the GPS module over here, and that is our buzzer to represent the car alarm system, followed by the servo motor to represent the door lock currently it's in unlock mode and the last one will be the DC motor to represent the engine the red color LED here is used to represent the ignition switch if the ignition switch is enabled the red color LED will be turned on if otherwise it will be turned off right now it is enabled so you can see if I switch it off or switch it on the engine will be turned on if I off it it will be turned off so that's the use of the red color LED and the yellow one is to represent the activity for the GSM module if the GSM module is sending any SMS to the user the yellow LED will be turned on now let us start the track it app first you have to enter the user password and then you will be directed to the home screen where you will have two options whether to track or to control your vehicle now I will do the manual tracking when the manual tracking button is pressed there will be a SMS sent to the system using the SMS API now you can see that the manual tracking is activated here and the LCD will display the location in the form of latitudes and longitudes and then the location will be sent to the user once the user receives the location the user can view on map the locations received if you can see in the map we are near the block A of Isora apartment and it seems like the location received is accurate enough Okay, so that's all for manual tracking. Now let us go for the controlling side. Now, if the user would like to control the vehicle, he or she should go to the control screen and enter the security code for enhanced security purpose. And then the user should press on enable system lock. Now the system should receive an SMS so that the system lock can be activated. Once the system lock is activated, the door will be locked within 3 seconds followed by the engine which will be turned off within 5 seconds. Once the system is locked, no one can turn off or turn on the engine. You can see that the ignition switch has no purpose right now. Now let's say if the vehicle is hidden in a building or any other closed places, the user can trigger the alarm so that the loud sound generated by the alarm might be useful to retrieve the vehicle back. Now, if the user found the vehicle back, the user should disable the system lock so that the user can get into the vehicle and start the engine using the ignition switch. Once the system lock is deactivated, the doors will be unlocked and the ignition switch will be enabled back. The user can now start the engine using the ignition switch as usual. That's all for the control part. Now let us move to the auto tracking part. If the user would like to do auto tracking, the user should just press on the enable auto tracking button in the app. Our SMS will be sent to the system using the SMS API and once the system receives the SMS, the auto tracking mode will be activated. And when the auto tracking mode is activated, the location will be sent to the user.
and then the user can view the location using the Google Maps interface. If you can see in the maps, we are currently at the President Square of MMU Mlaka. If the vehicle is moving, the system will constantly send the user the location of the vehicle. Right now, we are moving from the President Square, approaching the basketball court of MMU. The system will update the location every 5 seconds and if there is any changes in the location, the system will send to the user the current location of the vehicle. We are moving very slowly and you can see that there are a lot of SMSs coming in from the system to the user. If you can see in the map now, we have moved quite a distance from the President Square towards the basketball court. Right now, we are quite near to the basketball court and the system is keep updating with the location. And we have received our current location and once we view it, it shows that we are actually at the basketball court of MMU Malacca. And you can see that our physical location currently is at the basketball court of MMU Malacca. And that is the actual location of the system right now. And once the user is done with the auto tracking, the user should disable the auto tracking mode. The system will address the request from the user and will continue wait for the next request to be made by the user.